So you finally decided to take the plunge and get into Warhammer 40,000. And with the new edition being even more accessible than ever before, there's no better time to get in the hobby than now. And I know it can seem quite daunting with the paints, the minis, the rules. But in this video, I'm gonna show you that really, it isn't that complicated. And by the end, you'll have a Warhammer 40,000 squad painted and ready for the tabletop. Honestly, this is one of the hobbies that I get the most joy out of. Whether it's spending hours, you know, painting new models or playing with friends on tabletop or even gushing about some new lore that's been released. This hobby is one of the friendliest communities I've ever been a part of. So today, we're gonna take a look at one of the starter kits, which is probably one of the best ways to start. And this video is sponsored by Warhammer. So big shout out to them for allowing me the opportunity to show you just how easy this hobby really can be to get into. So let's see what's inside the box, shall we? Well, you've got your models, paints, paintbrush, instructions, playing board, ruler, clippers, and of course, dice. Let's start with the fun part, the models. They come on sprues, which you have to use your clippers to cut out. The great thing about these models is that you don't need any glue to put these together. Just follow the instructions in the booklet, and in the end, your models should look something like this. With your models fully assembled and completed, next is painting them. And when it comes to painting, it can be as simple or as complicated as you want. For this instance, let's take a look at the booklet and the how to paint guide inside there, which easily illustrates how to get your models from gray to fully painted. Let's start with the Space Marine first. Take the Macrag Blue and give them a good coat of paint. First, remember to thin the paint down with some water. For this, I used the cardboard that came in the box as a mixing palette. Take some paint from the pot and put it on the cardboard. Next, add some water onto your brush and mix it around before applying it to your mini. Also, don't forget to change the water after this step, very important. <laughs> then, we'll use a bad and black to paint the in-between parts of the armor, the gun, and the satchels. After that, we'll use Balthasar Gold to paint the metal part of the gun, trim of the shoulder pads, and the aquila on the chest. For the purity seals, we'll use Nagaroth Knight for the stamp part, and then Wraithbone for the paper part of the seal. Oh, and let's not forget the head of the sergeant, of course. And that's them done. So let's do the Terranin now. We'll use Wraithbone again and build up slowly with thin coats as a base layer. With pale paints, the first coat never looks very good. So uh, yeah, by the third time you'll be fine, don't worry. Then we'll use Nagaroth Knight for the carapace on the back. And finally, use a bad and black for the gun and the claws. And in the end, your model should look a little something like this. It really is that simple. All you need is time and patience. And before you know it, you've arguably completed the most daunting part of the hobby. So congratulations, you did great. <laughs> so what do you do with your newly painted models? Well, you've got to take them to battle, of course. Crack out the board that came with the box and let's get started. 40K is first and foremost a turn-based game. You have different phases to follow, and once you've done all of that, the opponent takes a turn to do the same. In the instruction booklet, you can find out all about them in depth, and even a step-by-step -step battle using the models you've just bought. So, if you have any questions, you can find them there. But put simply, this is what they're all about. The movement phase. As it suggests, this is where you move your units around the board. Find that unit's data sheet in the instruction manual, and on this page, under move, that's how far they can move. Use the ruler to check the distance. Next, the shooting phase. Here you'll find their attacks and the range. In this case, the marines have two, and the sergeant has three, and they hit on rolls of a three plus. So anything that's rolled three and above hits. Next, the enemy needs to make a save roll. For the Tyranids, they need a five plus. So taking all those dice that hit, they need to re-roll them. Anything that's a five and above is a save. And for all the dice that rolled less than a five, that number of models needs to be removed. Alien beams. And all you need to do is just repeat the process until there's only one army left. And there you have it. Like, I don't know how to make it any more simple than that. You've done it. You've painted, you've built, and you've even played your first ever game of Warhammer 40,000. From here, the possibilities are literally endless. You could buy another box to add on to your Space Marine army or your Tyranid army. Or if you just even want to go even gung-ho, start a completely new army. It's honestly up to you. And if you're feeling confident enough to take your painting to the next level, I will have another video showing you how you can get your Space Marines and Tyranids 
just that one step closer to box art level. And if you head on over to warhammer40,000.com, you can find out everything you need to know about the hobby. Link is in the description down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye